I have had such a good day and the fact that I am finishing this day slash starting the next with this album makes me so damn happy. I feel so good, guys. Hey, beans, what is up? How are you guys doing? I hope you're well. I hope you're happy. I hope you are having a great day. I am. I'm just, I'm so excited right now. Today, we are sitting down with Gracie Abrams brand new album debut album good riddance and I've just been so looking forward to this I love Gracie Abrams I love everything about her music she is one of my go-to just like daily listen artists I will just throw her discography on at any given time like it just I love her music like I none of her songs are skips to me I just love everything she puts out so I'm so excited to see what this album brings for us today taking a look at the track list here I do know two of the songs going in I do know where do we go now and also difficult those are two songs that have been out for a while but those are the only two I know I know the song um Emily Emil I'm not sure how to pronounce that yet I know that did come out but I haven't heard that one yet I've been having like a bit of a hard time choosing which I think my favorite is gonna be but I'm kind of leaning towards I should hate you I feel like that might be my song so the first song that we're starting out with I can't believe we're getting into this right now I'm so excited like I just feel so much joy in my heart and I feel like Gracie is about to break my heart so that's really cool but um the first song we're getting into is called best I'm just really excited okay <laughs> I love her oh my god I forgot that this album is mostly produced by Aaron Dessner Wait, why is this so cute already? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are we joking? I was bored out my mind Lost my whole appetite You were there all the time You're the worst of my crimes You fell hard, I thought good riddance <gasps> Oh my god, album, album, album title, album title I never was the best to you Gracie really is here to ruin my good mood, isn't she? I just want to say that the production on this is already, like, I'm already obsessed with it. I'm sorry, I love this. I think this is, like, already my favorite of the three I know, which I know we have barely gotten anywhere, but, like, I already love this. I love that. Ooh, what was that? What was that? This is sad, though. He's picking up, though. Pause. I just want to let it go, but I'm gonna pause. Oh my god. What a way to open up. That is such a freaking sad song, but it's a Obviously, it's a sad song from the perspective of the person who not had their heart broken, but did the heart breaking. And it reminded me a lot of a few songs of hers. Uh, one, of course, you know, she says all of my self-control kind of got difficult. I mean, it just Difficult. That's an obvious one. It reminded me of Rockland from her last project and it reminded me i like where do we go now like i felt that song in here too because in that song she says like i kissed you i lot when i kissed you back i lied and in this song it's saying just kind of like i didn't treat you right and i feel terrible about it now but it is what it is kind of that bridge is so good I just, I really feel the need to point out how much I love, love this bridge. There's just so much there. Like it is a big block of text. That is what it is. But there's so much there and that, and that bridge does build up in itself. All of your feelings, I played with them. Don't play with people's feelings. Oh, I do love a song though that like admits to mistakes. I like when people like admit to being the bad guy, so to speak, in their music because I think the majority of us have been on both sides of, of this kind of a thing. And I like to hear that perspective. I really, really do. Like Rockland, I love. This I think is my favorite of the three that I've heard so far. I think, I don't know. 
I don't know, I'm just really excited. <laughs> As always, uncut version of this album reaction will be over on Patreon. If you guys wanna check it out, it's linked down below. I've also got these shout outs down here. I'm sending you guys postcards, all my uncut album reactions, exclusive content, all of that is on Patreon if you wanna check it out. If not, totally fine and a huge thank you of course to everyone who's gone over there already because you guys let me do like the coolest job in the world where i sit on my office floor at midnight and listen to albums from my favorite artists like this is what i do and it's thanks to you guys that i get to do that so thank you so freaking much and uh let's keep going okay so the next song is called i know it won't work which damn kind of it just feels like the themes are like right in our face already between what we just heard i know it won't work that kind of sounds like it's going to be the same theme as where do we go now but we'll see i guess oh is that like is it backward? I left you here, where do you keep the extra closet empty? What? What if I'm not worth the time and breath I know you're saving? But it's so hard, all the shine of half a decade fading. Mm -hmm. I feel like she's really just breaking me right now. Oh, this is just oh, okay. Part of me wants to walk away till you really listen. I hate to look at your face and know that we're feeling different. Cause part of me wants you back, but I know it won't work like that, huh? Work like that, huh? Oh, I don't want it that, huh? Oh, I like the way she adds that. Oh, production, production. Thinking yes. Just brush me off, cause I'm your ghost right now. Your house is haunted. Oh my god. Oh no, that's such a good line. I'm your ghost right now. Your house is haunted. These songs are really from the perspective of what people would consider to be the bad guy, you know? On this, like, the very surface level of it, obviously. She's- I, it feels like she's just singing about somebody who, like, really seems to care about her and, and want her and their life, but she's trying to just move on because she doesn't have the same feelings. Like, she said, um, I hate to look in your face and know that we're feeling different. Like, we're on different pages. We, we have different goals in this relationship. And I can't tell if she's, like, truly... Okay, we haven't even got to the end of the song yet, sorry. I'm just... I just love these lyrics. I can't tell yet if, like, like, she just doesn't feel the same way or if it's, like, an insecurity thing where she can't let the other person love her. Kind of going back to, like, unlearn, which is what another of my favorite songs by her. Either way, these lyrics are so good. Production too is just, oh, it's so Gracie and it's so Aaron and it's just, ah. No, it won't work like that, huh? be like fully broken tonight but i feel like that's <laughs> what did i expect i feel like the short of it is like a song it's like a song thinking about could we try again would it be worth a shot or is it just not gonna work out you know it's it's probably not gonna work like that huh <laughs> i like the huh i don't know i feel like that's such a simple detail but i really like it i like this one too i don't think there's gonna be a song in here i don't like though i've said this before about gracie like she just doesn't make a bad song I love everything that she does. Next, we're listening to a song called Full Machine, which I didn't really think about that before. Like, what is that gonna be about? Ooh, I'm loving the production. Oh, Aaron Dessner! Roller coaster. Oh, wait. You're dead on the street, but won't you stay for a while? Wish that you never leave. Oh my god, whoa. But if you ask me to run away, I'd go easily. Wait, I wanna cry! <laughs> I love it! I'll heal eventually, but faster if you're next to me, next to me. I'm a shameless caller. Huh? You're a fool. Oh my 
god, no, I just- oh, I'm sorry. I, I know I keep pausing in the middle of all the songs, but I just really feel the need to point out, like, the improvement in her writing. Not that she was ever a bad writer, and not that, like, her writing before wasn't good, but I'm just like, this song? Oh my god, the writing is just so good! I don't know how to describe, the, like, exactly what this song is making me feel, but it feels like- almost like childhood. Which is a weird thing to say, and I know that, but it, there's something in, like, the simplicity that just like makes me feel like childhood <laughs> which is weird but it's just how i feel i'm a shameless caller you're a full machine but but won't you answer tonight and say something nice to me if you ask me to run away i'd go easily i love i love that line <gasps> Stop singing. <laughs> oh. Okay, no, just that, I think that's the line that got me the most is like, I should probably stop instead of forcing a breakthrough. It's just that I'll always choose you. A lot of this song reminded me of one specific lyric that I've always just <laughs> felt in my soul. And that is, um, and you know damn well for you, I would ruin myself a million little times from Illicit Affairs by Taylor Swift. I don't know, a, a part of this song really, it felt like that lyric to me and I think it's interesting because all the songs that we've heard so far kind of feel like her saying like I didn't need you and this song she specifically like or I didn't want you maybe because this song she says specifically like I'm codependent but I'm trying hard not to be in this song it's about a, an intense need for another person I love all of the like I'm this you're that kind of moments I'm a roller coaster you're a dead end street I'm a shameless caller, you're a full machine. I'm a forest fire, you're the kerosene. I love all of those moments. Oh, I'm obsessed with the writing. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Oh, this is my favorite one so far. Thank God, next we have Where Do We Go Now, which, good, give me a second to breathe because I already know this song and we can just kind of vibe together for a minute. 24 Street. I'm interested to hear this in the context of the album now. You don't know. Longest time. longest time it sounds like she's like just kind of stuck in this like place where she just doesn't know where do we go what she now? wants where do we go now where do we go now like we're supposed to work somehow you look hopeful like we're supposed to work somehow and like that's coming back to like i know it won't work Maybe this song is about getting back together and not just about the first time like a relationship was. I don't know. I'm trying to like understand the album as a whole, like four tracks in, which is just not a good <laughs> method. Also, yeah, if you see me drinking this, it's caffeinated lemonade because I'm a morning person and it is 1 a.m. So. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is like really just trying to put all of the pieces together and like I'm just like really sitting here just like taking in every lyric because I just feel like I'm 
I'm listening to the story of a relationship that existed and, and fell apart and she was the larger factor in ending the relationship and now she kind of is left wondering if that's what she really wanted and she regrets it so she wants another try but maybe it really just wouldn't work i don't know sorry i'm just like really trying to build this story because i'm intrigued but yeah that is where do we go now again i've heard that song i actually reacted to it on the channel if you want to see it but next song is i should hate you i just i feel like this is gonna be my song but we'll see i've liked all the ones so far so we'll see but I feel like this is gonna be my song. Oh, put the guitar down. Gracie, put the guitar down. Put it down. Last night I spiraled alone in the kitchen. Oh, Gracie, Gracie. They can pretend that the furniture listened. Oh no. Then I wasted my breath when I tried to console you, didn't I? Oh, her voice. Sweet I love that. Oh my god, wait. Oh, she's hurting me right now. <laughs> song in my bones, guys. <laughs> oh. oh my god, any of my friends out there who feel this song... <laughs> oh, how are you guys doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. This one really hits for me, and I knew it would based on the title. Like, I really, I just knew it would, because this is a dialogue that, like, I've had with myself, and I feel like it's like the most frustrating thing when somebody treats you a certain way and you're like, I should hate you. Like 100%, I should hate you, but I can't. The line that really interests me, interested me though in this song, I drive to your house for the shit that you went through and wasted my breath when I tried to console you, didn't I? I love the way this song starts. Like I really like the way it starts. This, oh, it's so nice. Just the guitar. And whatever that is and it really builds up honestly like I like the build-up I always like a build-up, but I'm, I'm curious to see what like to know what this song would sound like just acoustically Like cuz I really think I'd like it If it was just acoustic all the way through I feel like this is a song that we could get Acoustically from her at some point someday. I don't know, but I like that <laughs> The next song is will you cry the answer to that question is yes because Gracie's already destroyed my soul today. When you talk, you get shallow. Where I walk, you don't follow. When I Sorry. scream, you're my echo. How do we get stuck? Now I'm what you I love the layering on that. Oh. Now you walk through me with my heart heavy. I feel like it's taking it's taking me so long to process these lyrics and I don't know if it's just because it's late or if it's because like I'm just like I don't know I feel like she's writing so much more complexly complexly is that a word complexly I don't know um than she was before and she's taking me longer to wrap my head around it which I love 
Like, I love when you listen to a song for like the 20th time and something hits you for the first time that you didn't realize before. I feel like that's gonna happen with these songs, which I love. Will you cry if I let you don't move me? I see through you, I don't follow, I don't want to. This feels very Aaron Dessner right here. This feels like just classic, classic Aaron. Ooh! Ooh! This one has a very, very haunting feel to it. And once again, it feels like we're dealing with this like crippling <laughs> relationship that's just falling apart. And it does feel like throughout this album so far, she's been like flipping back and forth between what she does and doesn't want. And she doesn't know what she wants and she wants them, but then she doesn't. And, and it's, I don't know. It just feels like a lot of like flip flopping back and forth. It just really just like feels like a, being unsure of what you want. And obviously it's not that these songs all have to be about the same relationship, it's just like the way that I'm seeing it. Where I'll walk, you don't follow. Seems like you're not in sync, but then like when I scream, you're my echo. Seems like you are. So I don't know if that's like continuing on with the theme of just like this back and forth, not knowing what you want. Will you cry if I let go? Obviously that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna become a favorite of mine on this album, but right now I need more time with it. The next song is, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, I believe this is a name, Amelie, Am Emile, I don't know. I'm excited to hear this one because it was a single that came out um, within the past few weeks. So let's see. Yes with the guitar again, yes with the guitar again. Oh, I just want to cozy up with a blanket. I have a blanket. Why am I not using it? <laughs> I met a girl once. She sort of ripped me open. She doesn't even know it. She asked me a million questions. I answered in by eleven. Memorized her face. Wow. Where did you go? Gorgeous, wait. She cried about her obsessions. She doesn't know I'd let her ruin all my days. Oh, oh were you all in a dream, Amelie, Amelie? I don't know. I'm feeling so many things right now. You tell me more. I would give all my time. Oh. <laughs> All your words felt like a nursery rhyme. This is so sweet, I can't. I'm like, I don't know. I can't explain just like what like what about this song is so beautiful, but it's just it feels like warmth. It feels like nature and magical forests so and lanterns go, and Amelie, Amelie, <laughs> sparkly Amelie, lights. Amelie, Oh, Gracie, why would you do that? Oh, fuck. Why did that... Why did that hurt so bad? Why did that one hurt so bad? You know, it's weird because obviously, like, you, this is what I do. I film myself listening to music, and I post it on the internet, and people watch it. And it is weird. <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, like right now, like I love sitting down and doing this, but like I really just wanna like lie in my bed, curl up in a ball and listen to the rest of this album. I'm not gonna do that because you guys would kill me. <laughs> this album really does feel like a put your headphones on while you're laying in bed at night and just feel everything. This song felt very enchanted. That's kind of the word that comes to mind with this song and it's absolutely gorgeous. Just the way that she says like, Amelie, Amelie, Amelie. It's so pretty. And I mean, it feels like a song about a girl that she met like one time and and didn't ever talk to again. But this 
person had like a profound impact on her. I don't know, God, this song makes me want to cry so bad. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my tears at bay right now. But, like, it's something about this song. Like, I, this is the one right now that I'm like really excited to listen to after I'm done filming. Cause I'm fully gonna sob in my bed to this song when I'm done listening to this album for the first time. I just want you to know that, like that is going to happen. <laughs> and the way that she's saying like, where'd you go or was it a dream? Was this experience real? Why did it feel louder when all of it went unspoken? Oh God, I love this song so much. I feel sick. <laughs> Okay, we'll go to the next song, but I love that one a lot. Oh good, next is difficult. I know this song already, you know this song already. Let's just bop for a second, because <laughs> I need to bop for a second. My double vision is only amplifying everything he isn't. I should probably go back home, why does that feel difficult? Cause when it fell through, I'll Part of the whole song. Oh, I love that. I truthfully just don't have much to say about the song because I've known it for a while now. I did react to it. Did I react to it? Maybe I didn't. I actually don't remember if I did or not. But I've known this song for so long now that like I just don't have anything new to say about it. Um, but I do like it. It was on my faves playlist for a long time because I was listening to it like a lot for a while. Next track is This Is What The Drugs Are For. This should be good. No, this should go well for us. Whoa, new vibe. This is what the drugs are for. Mm, this is different. Turn the lights off on the come down. You walked away. Look now, I'm alone again. I've gotten used to sleeping here without you. This one a lot. Hold on. my breaking point I can only stop so much <laughs> of my emotion from just falling out of my face you know I'm telling you if I was not sitting here filming a video right now if I was listening to this for the first time just like laying in bed I would just be like fully sobbing like shamelessly sobbing to this album Gracie's music is just different for me I don't know how to explain it this album I already know like you know listening to most of it so far like it's gonna take a while for me to like fully appreciate it because right now I feel like I'm kind of just going through the motions with it but every song is hitting I know that but I know like after time like this album is gonna wreck me just like every other freaking song she's ever put out I've tried I can't pretend that I don't sit around and think about you and all I ever do is think about you that's just so sad this is what the drugs are for turn the lights off on the calm down so she's like using like what drugs and alcohol or whatever to like try and try and not think about this person or try and pretend like try to escape essentially from these thoughts hopefully the high works to change my mind but it doesn't because on the calm down oh turn oh oh god wait the, oh it's 
See, it's gonna take time for me to wrap my head around all these lyrics, but I already love all of the ones that I've, I have wrapped my head around slightly. Guys, I really can't wait to go sob to these songs in my bed after this. I'm not joking. Like, I'm so looking forward to that. What's next? Fault Line. Fault Line is next. Are there any happy songs on this album? I mean, probably not. It is Gracie freaking Abram. You could go and I won't even feel it. I do, I just feel a lot of things. I've gone and cried to them in our bedroom. Most nights I will pretend I left this Feel sad. <laughs> I don't know. Oh god. Stop. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why this is a song that completely broke me. I get I think it's just been building up this entire time, and this is a very even without like considering lyrics, I just feel like it's such an emotional album just within the production and just the way that she's delivering these songs. Like I just I don't know, I just wanna cry. <laughs> I just want to feel everything. I think there's a lot of like underlying stuff too right now for me that's just like making me feel this way. With a couple songs still to go, I want to thank Gracie for giving me an album to cry to. Just like to just full on sob to because that's that's what this feels like. <laughs> this song like it's again like this is interesting because she says a few different times like you could go I won't even feel it wouldn't hold up the road when you're leaving and then later you could go and I bet I'd recover overnight like do you actually think that or is that like you try to convince yourself of that in the bridge all my imaginary friends are scared of you I've gone and cried to them in my bedroom I don't really know what this song means I'll be honest but for some reason it made me cry a whole bunch so it did something right for me <laughs> if I cry it's a win um, if, if I cry it means I love it even if I don't freaking know why the next song is called the blue This is gonna be the upbeat one, right? There's gotta be one upbeat one on here like that makes everybody feel good You live in Hollywood You're half an hour from me The kind of thing you should Wait, is it gonna be happy? Just drop it all and call Congratulations! You say we share a brain, apologizing for it. <laughs> but take it as a compliment. You make me really nervous. Stop! What are you doing to me now? I want this. <laughs>
flying away to a happier place. This one has everyone feeling about it. Oh my god. I can't- I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with that. That was like so cute. That was so cute. I hope this is the most recent one that she wrote. I really do. And I love putting it- I, we have one more song, but I love putting it at the end. If the last song comes and punches me in the face again, I'm gonna be really upset about it because that was really sweet and really cute. And I, I've never wanted to feel something so badly. You could just feel like that pure bliss of like falling in love in this song and just like if it's just- oh, it's just a- <laughs> Thank you for happiness, uh, Gracie, for like, once. I appreciated it. That was so cute. I loved it. Came out of the blue like that. And I don't know, there's something in the way, like, she sings that part, too. Just like, you just came out of the blue. To have somebody really just, like, kind of come out of nowhere and it's like- this feeling of like finding your person. The, the part I like the most in this is, I won't forget the feeling staying up with you despite the space between us. I've never felt this close to someone. What if you're my weakness? That right there is my favorite part of this song. I just think it's so sweet. It's a happy song and it still made me wanna just break down and cry about my just existence. And I think it's like also just because when you're in a, a, a place of just like feeling kind of hopeless in the world of love, a song about like somebody coming out of the blue, like unexpectedly showing up into your life and just like turning everything around. Oh, it's such a hopeful, happy vibe. <laughs> and I just love it. Thank you for that, Gracie. Thank you. I'm so appreciative right now. This has brought us, wow, to the final song already. It doesn't feel like we should be here yet, but we are. This last song is called Right Now. It is almost six minutes long. So everybody cozy up. Last song on this album. I feel such a weird mix of emotions. We'll talk about it after this song. We'll see where this song takes us first, but wow, I'm feeling a lot of different things right now. <laughs> Oh my god, what is she gonna do in this one? Oh, that's pretty. Stop. Look at me, I feel homesick. Want my dog in the door. The universe this is building and right now. The light in the kitchen. Oh god, no, the production of this is amazing. Through the walls of my bed. That I shouldn't know. Why is the writing so simple but so good? The bush might be broken. Stop. Got more alive somehow. I feel like myself right now. I can't. No. Far from the ocean. Gracie, I'm done. I'm I'm staying on here. Never thought that would hurt. Why? Why? I don't know. Am I losing my family? Every minute I'm gone. What if my little brother thinks my was six minutes and it didn't feel anywhere close to six minutes <sighs> god this song to me feels like a song about growing and going on a, a journey to essentially find yourself and and get to know yourself better which is something i think all of us can relate to all the time because you're always i think trying to like get to know yourself better and she talks about like leaving her old life behind and 
it sounds like she feels most content with herself right now, which is a really, really beautiful thing to feel comfortable with yourself. I'm more alive somehow. I feel like myself right now. I feel like myself right now. I feel like that's like more of a beautiful thing than it seems on the surface. I don't know, maybe that's just me. To be able to say you feel like yourself, to me just seems like a huge deal. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that says more about me than anything, but like, I just, that feels like a, an awesome, incredible, beautiful thing to be able to say. I do question though, like when she says, like I feel like myself right now, but then she says, I'm so tired, but can't sit down. What if this is it for now? That almost sounds like a, I'm not content with where I'm at kind of lines. And it does sound like she's kind of like conflicted. Like she talks about like, am I am I losing my family? Um, what does my bro little brother think of, of me leaving? And production on this is probably some of my favorite on the album because it feels very different and it feels so dreamy like from start to finish, the way it kind of starts light and then it builds into like a very dreamy place and then comes back down to like the intro um, at the end. So good. What a beautiful track to finish on too. To like finish off saying like right now, at least in this moment, I feel like myself and I, and I feel good about where I'm at. And that's really, oh, that's just a beautiful note to end it on. All right guys, we did it. We listened to Gracie Abrams' new album, Good Riddance. And I really am feeling so many things right now. <laughs> I feel like that's very apparent though. I'm very emotional right now. I mean, I was already emotional when I sat down to like listen to this. I was feeling like good emotions and I still feeling a lot of those good emotions, but I've also, this album definitely brought up some sadder things for me and much like everything I ever hear from her, like I'm gonna need time to process it. It's not like, with like her other projects as well, it's always kind of this feeling of like, I know I liked that, but to be able to like really say like what my favorites are or anything like that, like I need to like take time. Cause I think I said, I don't remember for sure, but when I reacted to this is what it feels like, I f pr I'm pretty sure I said I like didn't like it that much. And then I, it became one of my most listened to albums for like two years straight. And like, I listen to it all the time now because I, I see Gracie as just like the best, like just calming everyday background music for life. And I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but she's like one of my just go-to throw on in the background to feel calm artists. And I do think this album is such a, such a step up in her lyricism like lyrics I, a lot of them i wasn't able to even grasp on my first listen like going back and listening to these again and again and again i'm gonna start to pick up on more and more things and i know i'm gonna be blown away multiple more times because even just this first listen like there's some things that stuck out to me i was just like no way she just said that like that was oh they're so good i'm so excited to spend time with this album i'm already thinking about like every scenario that i'm gonna listen to it number one in my room with my headphones on in my bed like in the middle of the night that's number one in the background while i'm like cleaning the house in the car um outside in the summer i just like there's so many ways i can't wait to spend time with this album i also like sitting here right now i feel like too i didn't I feel like I didn't say much in this video because I just wanted to, I don't know, I just was feeling things. <laughs> like it really, it just felt like an album that I just wanted to like sit in silence and really just take in, which again is why I said in the middle, like I kind of just want to go lie in bed and listen to the rest of this album. If I had to try and guess like what my favorites are going to be long term, Emily, or I don't remember if that's how we pronounce it, that was gorgeous. Fault Line got me real good for some reason. Full Machine I remember really liking. I don't know. I, I feel like I shouldn't even bother trying to say favorites because it's gonna change over time. What I can say right now is that I did really love this. I really did. And I'm just feeling, ah! I'm grateful, but also sad, but also happy, but also every emotion under the sun. So, you know, you know. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on this project down in the comments. Uh, let's chat about it. Like if you guys have favorites already, feel free to let me know. I think this is gonna end up being my favorite project from her. I really do, just because I think the complexity and the lyrics and the production and everything, it just feels, it does feel like a true step up from her previous projects. Conceptually, just like some really beautiful themes and moments and relatable emotions. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, I hope this video is enjoyable. Again, I feel like I didn't say much. I just, I don't know. I just feel like 
I was just feeling a lot of things. <laughs> And I don't know that I shared properly what I was feeling, but I, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope you have a good rest of your day and I love you so very much. I appreciate you so very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.